Nick, welcome to Cape Town. You guys uh, said you had a, a slip up um, against your big Aussie rivals last weekend. How have you guys uh, sort of recovered and wh what, do you, what do you need to work on ahead of the Stormers game? Uh, it's just about doing exactly that, you know, recovering after a you know, physical, intense, quick battle against the Waratahs. Um, you know, unfortunately, didn't come away with the win there. It, it was close, right in it up until the death. Um, you know, it's just about moving forward, not, not dwelling on, on the past too much. Uh, as I said, did, did a lot of things right in that game. Um, you know, 90% of it was good, just uh, a, a few small errors. And uh, if we can just kind of work on those, uh, move forward and uh, play some good footy, uh, give ourselves a good chance of uh, winning over here. For your game personally, you've had a couple of injury niggles this season. How are you at the moment? Yeah, good. I had a couple of weeks off, ankle injury, but uh, you know, gave it gave it all last week off, and uh, you know, looking to looking to come over to the Cape Town and uh, you know, enjoy the trip and, and rip into these last these two games. Okay. So, in terms of your opposite number this coming weekend, have you analysed this game and what are you expecting? Yeah, uh, I'm not sure who it'll be, Groom or Schroeder, but uh, you know, both very good footy players, uh, both playing behind a you know very big pack and. Uh, you know, very sharp between the ears, both of them. Very smart footy players, and uh, you know, are going to have to be on on our toes if we're going to uh, going to uh, you know, keep them under wraps. Um, I spoke to Scott Berg a couple of weeks ago, and he was saying that he prefers playing the Australasian teams as opposed to the South African derbies. How do you feel about playing South African sides compared to your your opponents back home? Uh, it's different. Uh, you, know, you know, different oppositions playing the Kiwis, the South Africans, to the Australian sides. I guess. Uh, you know, when you're playing your, your local sides, as he's saying, South African sides for us, Australian sides, they know you inside out, and it's, a, it's a hard to play. You know, play footy and get a lot of rhythm into the games. Uh, you know, a lot of niggle off the ball, and uh, you know, a lot of chit chat on the field. So it's good to good to play against some South African guys that you don't necessarily know at all and not mates with, and uh, you know, able to get some rhythm into the game. Um, some of these Springbok players, obviously, the contracted guys have have had enforced rests during the Super Rugby season. How has that sort of dynamic worked uh, with us, with Australian franchises in terms of resting the Wallabies for the World Cup? Yeah, we haven't had anyone rested yet this year. So, uh, yeah, we don't have that system in Australia. I know New Zealand and South Africa uh, enforced that rule, but, yeah, no, uh, no Wallabies have been rested from, from any sides in Australia. So what do you personally think the advantages or disadvantages of that might be? Uh, obviously, advantages for for player welfare in, in a bit. Do you agree with it? Yeah, yeah, I do. But um, you know, unfortunately, uh, everyone knows that you know our depth in Australia isn't quite as large as you know maybe South Africa and, and New Zealand. So we don't have that uh, don't have that privilege yet. But um, you know, we're working towards it. Now, just uh, in the bigger picture, your your campaign, the Brumbies campaign, you guys have had quite a quite a good start. Um, the, in terms of these sort of changes or the legacy that uh, Jake White perhaps installed in the Brumbies when you guys had that real swan song season how how has how's the continuation been since he left yeah good um, you know similar season last year after Jake left I uh, went through to the semi-finals unfortunately didn't didn't make it through to the final but um, an, another good season and and uh, you know whilst we're on track uh, we've got a tough five weeks ahead of us and uh, you know um, it'd be nice to, to, to continue to evolve as a team and, and, and individually. So, um, yeah, that, that, that's the challenge for us, to, to keep playing good footy and, and evolve, um, not just be happy with, uh, you know, with, with the, well, you know, the way we've been doing things and playing the game.